hello everyone so in this video i will just continue my previous lecture okay because previous lecture was too long so i had stopped let's start again so i have here uh, i have to create another collect and a new collection summary so, so sorry the collection one i have i had already created now i will work on collection two so in this i will calculate total order over time total sale amount over time and total profit over time okay so one minute total order i have total sales i have already cal calculated now let me open the total profit one more time profit i just want to save this formula so again i don't need to recalculate just save as total profit over time so this is i can say uh, in another word i can say i am going to create trend graph for profit okay so let's customize this line graph y axis line and here a uh, order date take by quarter now we can see the profit range let's remove the grid lines high grid lines and let's see how does it look like yeah so this is the maximum this is average and this is minimum okay so let's see the data level setting keep the value okay in the data level setting i have given the value i want to use a scale format let's see whether it's work or not use a scale abbreviation yeah now it's working okay so let's save this card okay so, and before saving i can give total profit it's not required because total profit we are already showing in summary card okay so let's save this now i want to create a total sales amount over time or i can keep the name total sales will work over time okay just save this horizontal line symbol order date take by quarter so this is the optional like whatever you can choose as per your need i am choosing quarter okay i just want to hide grid line okay and then data level setting value scale format abbreviation okay then let's save this now last is total order okay this is also similar repeating process sum of order quantity put here and order date
quarter high grid lines data label setting use value okay and then scale format use scale abbreviation okay so my three cards are done so i have already prepared for collection two now let's add in dashboard and let, let's do little bit customization i am going to add one more collection here Let's add one more. Yes. Actually, I just want to change the background. Okay. And let's see how does it reflect. No, it's not looking good. No, no. For me, it's not looking good. So based on that, you can customize the background of color. Let I just want to leave this. Okay. And here I want to remove the background. I want to keep it as a transparent. So based on that, you can customize. This is your op as per your wish. Okay. I just want to keep this. Okay. So I have added three cards. Okay. Total order, total sales amount, total profit. Okay. And below the summary, I have added trend graphs. So in the next uh, collection, I have to add uh, performance, like store performance, category performance, product performance, then total order and total sales performance. Okay. So let's see. I think total order and total sale, I have already done it. So this three performance of store, performance of product, and performance of category. Okay, okay. Performance of these three based on total order and total sale. So uh, the collection part I will do in next video. Thank you.